on today's episode, turning waste CO2 into low carbon methanol for industry. Today's episode is brought to you by engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on engineering.com TV today. Decarbonization of the global economy is widely regarded as absolutely necessary, but achieving it without serious disruption to fossil fuel-based economies is still a difficult problem to solve. Replacement of fossil fuels with alternates like electricity and hydrogen is one route, but sequestration of captured CO2 from fixed sources in industry and power generation appears to be a cost-effective strategy in many applications. But what if that captured CO2 could be turned into a useful product? That's the premise of the Fairway Methanol Project, a joint venture of Selenese Corporation and Mitsui and Company, which has started a carbon capture and utilization plant in Clear Lake, Texas. Methanol is commonly produced from carbon monoxide at industrial scale, but it can be produced from carbon dioxide by a reaction with hydrogen gas in the presence of a catalyst. The net carbon dioxide balance of the process is essentially a competition between the CO2 emitted by hydrogen production versus the consumption of CO2 as a feedstock. The Clear Lake operation benefits from an adjacent Lindy plant which supplies clean hydrogen and piped CO2 to the fairway methanol operation. Methanol is a feedstock for production of plastics, adhesives, paints, as well as pharmaceuticals and agricultural chemicals. The fairway plant has been in production since January and has recently achieved certification from the International Sustainability and Carbon Certification System. The ISCC is a European non-governmental agency that authenticates carbon-free and low-carbon agricultural and industrial processes. Certification is an essential part of the methanol production chain. With the chemical industry worldwide now tracking CO2 emissions and facing CO2 reduction targets, the carbon dioxide footprint of energy use in chemical plants and in the chemical feedstocks as well are at issue. Low CO2 chemical inputs like the methanol produced at the Fairway project not only reduce CO2 at the source, but represent a reduced carbon input which methanol users can leverage to hit CO2 reduction targets, often to achieve certification themselves. In this regulatory environment, the methanol produced by the Fairway project carries added value for customers, either reducing overall emissions and as a method to reduce the carbon footprint of the end-use products. Clean methanol users can offer a competitive advantage to customers down the supply chain. The project is capable of capturing 180,000 metric tons of CO2 per year and turning it into 130,000 metric tons of low-carbon methanol annually. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, Designing the Future, and the Engineering Roundtable, not found on our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.